Number 57 for the Colts, linebacker Josh McNary is charged with raping a woman. It definitely is a sad situation. According to court papers, McNary and the victim, a woman in her 20s, met at Tiki Bob's on December 1st. Then the two went back to McNary's downtown apartment where the woman says he raped her. A sexual assault is, is not not a matter that needs to be swept under the rug. Laura Chandler works at Colburn Place, a safe place for domestic and sexual abuse victims. The organization partners with the Colts for Blue Breakfast every year. It's their biggest fundraiser. When it hits home in Indianapolis, it definitely it, it, it brings it to light that these issues do occur. It's certainly inconsistent with the image that the Colts project and that the community expects from the Colts. Gary Roberts is a sports law professor at IU McKinney. Roberts says this isn't a Colts issue anymore. It's an NFL issue and the league isn't going to take it lightly. Even if somehow he gets off on the criminal charges, the league will certainly impose some some significant suspension on this player as a result of that. McNary is on the commissioner's exemption list. He isn't allowed to play or practice during this investigation. And if he's convicted, if and when he's out of jail, um, they're going to have to decide whether they want to keep a player with this kind of uh, tarnished image. Um, my guess is that they won't.